Hello, I'm here at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho and today I'm going to share my recipe from one of my favourite desserts of all time. This is something we used to make in the pub that I worked at many years ago and I remember being so surprised when the chef told me how simple it was that I could not believe it. Um, it's banoffee pie and I'm going to share the recipe with you right now. Now you've probably all heard of banoffee pie and many of you will have tried it as well but you might not know two really interesting facts about banoffee pie. The first one is that banoffee doesn't refer to bananas and toffee like you might think. It's actually banana and coffee. It was originally invented in the 70s so I guess that kind of combination was a bit more of a hit back in the 70s. The second interesting fact is that it's one of ours. We, the English people, invented it. You probably thought it was American or something because it's awesome and full of yummy sweet things but actually we invented it back in the 70s. First we're going to need to make the buttery biscuit base and I've already greased and lined the base of a 9 inch loose bottom pan. You definitely want to use a loose bottomed or a spring form pan because when it comes to turning this thing out it's going to be really really hard if you don't have either of those tins. So into my food processor I'm going to put 200 grams of digested biscuits and 75 grams of lightly toasted pecan nuts and I'm going to give those a blast until they're the texture of sand. And then I have 100 grams of melted unsalted butter. I'm just going to pour that in while the process is still going round. And I'm going to dump all of that into my tin. And once I've spread it out mostly with the spatula, I'm then going to get my fingers in there and use them to just press it all over the base and up the sides of my tin. And once it's nice and neat, you then just need to chill that for about half an hour. So my buttery biscuit base has been in the fridge chilling out for about an hour. It's nice and firm, so now it's time for the next bit, which is to bring in our hero, which is the condensed milk dulce de leche we made last week. So I'm just going to use this whole can and I'm going to spread it out all over the bottom. And if you're making this for a dinner party, at this point you should just pop this right back in the fridge and get it out when you're ready to serve it. While that's chilling in the fridge, I'm just going to get on with prepping the rest of my ingredients. And I have four medium sized bananas. You need between three and four bananas depending on the size. I'm going to cut these really thin, about half a centimetre thick. Okay, I'm ready to serve it now. So I've got my bananas prepped. I'm going to leave the cream till last. And now I'm going to arrange the bananas all over the top of my dolce de leche. So that's all my bananas in. This thing is going to be packed full of yummy bananas. And now it's time to put the whipped cream bit on. And if you wanted to throw back to the 70s and add some coffee, you just need to do that at this point. So you just add your uh, coffee granules or your um, instant coffee powder to your cream. I've got 300 to 500 millilitres of cream, depending on how creamy you want it. You might want it piled high or just kind of fairly flat. And I'm going to add one or two tablespoons of caster sugar before I whisk it. And you want to whisk it until it's reaching sort of soft peaks. All right, that's ready. So now I'm just going to spread that all over the top of my bananas. And once you've spread the whole lot on, you can leave it like that or you can finish it with some pecans or some grated chocolate. I've got these really nice candied pecans. I just made these by uh, rinsing the pecans in water and then chucking them in a bowl of icing sugar and then baking them for 15 minutes at about 180 degrees. And they look really cool and they're really tasty. And once you've done that, it's time to get it out of the tin. So 
So now it's time to have a slice of this thing and see what's going on inside. Right, let's see how this tastes. It certainly looks amazing. Let's give it a go. Mmm. That is so good. Because I didn't add any extra sugar to the dulce de leche, it's perfectly balanced, really yummy, and all the pecans in the base are really coming through as well. Oh, I'm going to have a bit from the side. Mmm. -mm. That is a winner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that banoffee pie becomes one of your favourite desserts as well. And if you do make it, let me know by hashtagging Cupcake Gemma on Instagram and Twitter. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then you can do that by clicking on the link at the end and that means you'll get an email every week, every time I upload a video. So you'll be one of the first people to watch it and you'll never miss a thing. I'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys. Until then, a lot of banoffee pie to eat. See ya.